here from House Made of Marital Glue and I'm really, really, really excited to show you some changes we've made around our house. Today I'll be sharing one of those changes, but I'm sure you will see the other ones in other videos coming up or already posted depending on when I put this video up. Um, but behind me is what I'm really excited to share with you because I couldn't share it before this point because it includes the file cabinet that was in the office and the office will now be a nursery so I couldn't really explain why we don't want an office anymore or won't have an office anymore until I could reveal the pregnancy so I'm really excited to share it with you now. So now when you walk into our house this used to be completely blank this wall um, but now I decided I've been wanting to do this for a while we moved the file cabinet that was in the office in here and it creates just this little um, welcoming little place to put stuff and decorate for the seasons and um, the reason it's not centered is because we need a little walkway here to move into the dining room and the living room and I'm thinking of putting like something like a tall piece of art right here or something just to break it up and we still need something in this big area above the stairs but at least now there's something to look at and it's really inviting so I'm just gonna break down like everything that's here so the file cabinet, like I've said in my past home tour, it is from Goodwill for I think $10, $9 or $10. I painted it this navy blue and I put these um, L brackets on which are just from the like the Home Depot or Menards. And I used this product called Rub and Buff to make the um, handles and to do so these would match. I did the L brackets too even though they were already brass. Um, but it makes everything look brassy and it's kind of looks like a campaign chest which I really like but it's a lateral file cabinet and I've shown this a little bit before we have our freedom filer system in there um, and the reason why we have a file cabinet here is because we don't have an office anymore it's going to be the nursery so we need some kind of functional workspace without um, making it look office-y so this just looks like a little you know dresser or storage unit it doesn't look like a file cabinet so I like that we can use it for filing without it screaming file cabinet up on top we have my favorite print that I'm so excited to finally have in our house displayed it's from Michelle Armas I got it or Armas I got it a couple years ago for Christmas and I will post the link below I forget which name of the print it is but I love the the reds, the corals, the aqua blues, the yellows, just all the color it brings in. I think it really reflects our house um, in one painting. So I really like that. Um, this um, picture frame we got, Sand bought me about, oh my gosh, like six years ago from this really cool store called Patina, which I know there's a few in the Twin Cities. I don't know if there's any anywhere else. And then I believe my friend Courtney gave me this maybe or... I got it as a gift, I don't remember, but I love the quote and I just like the pop of red. We have this um, like little, not apothecary, but like pedestal bowl, I guess you could call it for decorating, filled with these little um, like vase filler, decorative filler from Target. And this was from, I think it might be Pottery Barn, I'm not sure, but I got it from a friend who got it from a friend. So yes, um, and I'm thinking of painting the base a different color, but right now it's fine. And then I have just a little like flower bowl I think I got at Target or something filled with little candy. I just think it's so cute when people have candy for guests when they walk in. And um, so far the people who have been over here think it's they like to have a little bite of candy when they walk in. And then above that I have two shelves anchored into the walls. And um, right now they were decorated kind of for 4th of July, but um, obviously blues fit our house. So it really works well. So what I did, I have this little um, like giant chest piece I got from my friend. Um, it's red. I like the red pop of color. It's not really a bookend, but these books are pretty sturdy. They don't need a bookend. And then I just grabbed some blue books that we have around the house um, and put them here. And we have this little owl named Alfred that we got from the Mall of America at an Australian store called Typo and it was really cheap. I think it was on clearance. And then my friend Courtney got me this. Friends are the family one finds along the way. I like the quote and I like the colors. We got this vintage Pepsi Cola 
can on our honeymoon at just like an antique store. I have a mason jar from an estate sale and just a little white lantern probably from Target. And then on the top shelf, um, I love this Bless This Home um, little piece of art and I painted the frame a coral color. I just spray painted it first with some like Krylon primer that can stick to anything and then I got some just a little test pot of coral paint to paint it and it, I like how it matches the artwork so it doesn't stand out too much like it would if it were the only coral thing here. And then my friend Courtney, she gets me a lot of decorating stuff, I realized. She got me this for my birthday a couple years ago. I love it. And then another mason jar. And then um, this uh, like vintage milk can, or I don't really know. But we had that in our wedding as one of the centerpieces. We had a lot of like different glassware and um, different types of holders to kind of be more eclectic. And then this, I want to actually, this has a story. So this is... Oh my gosh, I think his name is Edwin. We named him. I love pigs. I don't know why, but I've loved them forever. And I've always wanted a pig named Disco because I just think that would be cool. And I used to have, well, I still have them somewhere. These shoes, like vans with flying pigs all over them. And I'd wear them for good luck when I was in dance to dance competitions. So um, this is just really quirky and very me. But what I think is really cool is I met John and Sherry from Young House Love a couple years ago when they were in the area for their book tour and they signed it. And I actually was on their blog because I posted a funny picture of myself in my pajamas holding their book because um, I was so excited to run down and get it in our apartment. So um, I'll probably post the link to that if you're interested, but I just think this is so cool. Um, and I, I just like quirky things, Santa and I both do, so we like you know, the different quirky animals we have here. So that is what you see when you walk in. And I'm gonna share with you in this video as well some other ways we conceal our office supplies while still making our home feel like a living space. So when we renovated our house, my dad had the idea to put a built-in buffet here. And I really love the idea because we don't have a lot of buffet type things like um, vases and stuff like that and that can all be kept in the basement because we don't change that out very often but what we do have a lot of and something we do need room for especially now that we have a baby on the way and we won't have an office unless we finish the basement which probably won't happen anytime soon we need office space so while designing this buffet I had that in mind so I will show you some of the cool features of it but when you look at it it just looks like a buffet, but inside it has a lot of office-y things and other types of things like games and stuff if we're having people over and we can easily just sit at the table and play games. But I just want to show you more of the office components of our buffet. And I just love that you would never guess that there are really office supplies in here. So my absolute favorite part of this is this middle door. And when we were designing this, I specifically measured our printer at the time and like typical standard sizes for the widths of printers. And we specifically picked this cabinet a little wider than the two next to it to fit a printer. And we've upgraded our printer since then to um, a laser color printer that's huge, but look, it fits perfectly. It was very snug to get in, but it fits. And all of the components are pull out in the front, so it's never, a hassle to use. Yes, you have to get down, but it's hidden. It's amazing and it still works wirelessly through the door so we never have to open it until we go to actually pick up the things we printed. So that's one of my favorite features of this that you would never guess is in there. Um, above this, we have our like electronics drawer. I got these little um, plastic bins from Target in the dollar section. They were $3 for a pack of like three or four. And we just have like um, our tablet with the keyboard and some external hard drives and all our cam like little camera stuff for our, our like videos for YouTube and stuff like that and headphones and cords in here. Over here in some of the drawers we have office supplies. So here we have like um, lots and lots of tape because you get a pack and it's like I don't want to just put some of them in there and then store it somewhere else. So we just put them all in there. 
some post-its, um, staplers, pencil sharpener, staple remover, magnets, and these little decorative boxes. I keep paper clips and like thumbtacks. And I will clean this up later. And as you can see below, I love that I line this all with contact paper from the very beginning. It's just so happy and the dark blue matches that. Um, and then in the drawer below we have um, like greeting card envelopes, index cards, and lots of notepads because we're definitely notepad people. And then in this side, these two... Well, it looks like three doors, but the two bottom ones are connected. We have a lot of office supplies. So up here we have like craft supplies in the back, like my silhouette cutter, um, a laminator, um, paper cutters, like the big kind where you slice it. And then we have a lot of my like binders that I use quite often. My, my smaller Filofax I don't use as much, my planning things, our shredder, that kind of thing. Here's a non-office related just like table linens. Sorry about the dogs. And then this drawer or this um, shelf holds like loose change, some extra pens and pencils, but we also have a bunch over there um, just sitting out. And then we keep paper in here for the printer. It's empty right now. And then um, it says supplies, but we have, um, I need to change that. It's just like line paper for the different size binders we have. And then up here we have my label maker with the different cartridges. And in here is washi tape and little post-it notes. And then I have extra pens and like Sharpies and stuff like that. Manila um, file folders, sheet protectors, and then my large um, hole puncher. This shelf is dedicated to my business, my photography business. I have like my external hard drives that I use for that. Thank you cards, business cards, an album, notes and stuff. And then I keep my photography bag in here when it's not being used. And then down here we have like extra um, binders and notebooks and all kinds of stuff that's just like extra. If we need it, we grab it, but usually it just stays down here. So it's not a hassle to like pull it out because we don't have to do that very often. So this really allows us to... Um, maximize office space without having an office and be able to put stuff away and keep it very neat. So I hope you enjoyed that little extra update that we've done to our house that I can finally share of our little nook when you walk in um, with some color and some personality to reflect our house. And then I hope that you also enjoyed seeing how we maximize our space in a small house when we don't have a designated office anymore or we never really did we were just converting that into an office before so now you see like how you can um use a space for different purposes without it looking like it is used for different purposes if you have anything you've done where you've used a room for more than one function i would love a link to the video or blog post or just a description of what you did i love getting new ideas and finding ways to incorporate them into our own home so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day